So guys, why is it so hard to become a minimalist when you are in your Hermes journey? So let's go ahead and talk about it. I think I shopped every single corner of Hermes. I don't have to have Hermes, you know, top down to just... If you're new to my channel, my name is Sigrid. I talk about luxury handbags, real estate, travel, finance, and minimalism in this channel. So for today, we are going to talk about two of my favorite things, which is minimalism and of course, you know, the Hermes journey. So anyway, you guys, um, I have been thinking about this and I have just been, you know, um, brainstorming a whole lot about minimalism and my Hermes journey. And um, it is so hard to be a minimalist, you know, being in the Hermes journey. And the reason why is because, you know, you need to keep buying things for you to be able to uh, get a Hermes Birkin or a Kelly bag. And, you know, over the past couple of months that I have been doing this, I have just been trying to think of things that I think I want from the Hermes, uh, you know, fashion house. Some of them, I tr true and genuinely, genuinely like them. And so, you know, I don't really have any regrets um, buying them. Um, at least, you know, 99% of the time, you know, there's just probably one that I sort of like regret buying, but maybe not, you know, I mean, it's still okay, you know, that type of thing. But, you know, my point is that if you are in your Hermes journey and you're trying to get a quota bag, sometimes it's very hard to become a minimalist. And the reason why is because, you know, you just have to think on trying to look for um, things to buy. And when I was actually, you know, um, in the Hermes store, and this always happens to me. So I do have like a huge list of, you know, things that I wanted to buy already when I go to the store, just because I know that the availability is so random and sometimes they do have it, but sometimes they don't. And at that point, since I'm already there, you know, I am an hour away uh, from San Francisco. So I won't waste my time and my toll fee and my parking fee to go to San Francisco. Um, so that I just don't come back with nothing. This is the challenge for me because as a minimalist, truly, truly, truly try to not buy a whole lot of things. But then you're sort of like forced into this cycle of just buying things from Hermes because, you know, it's just how <laughs> the system works. And that's really the truth. It's just how the system works. And I find it so difficult. Although, you know, I do want to stop. I can't stop right now because if I do, then, you know, my Hermes journey is over. And so I might not get the Birkin bag or the quota bag that I like or I love, right? So, you know, I, I just have to keep thinking of things that sometimes I feel like I don't really necessarily need it. You know, it's good to have, but it's not a must have for me. And so, you know, I get through this circles and motions and motions of like, you know, I have to go there and buy. But then do I need it? Mm, maybe, you know, um, it's, a, it's a want, it's not a need. That's for sure, right? And it's just, I mean, it, it is, it's, it's really a, uh, a want, you guys. I mean, everything else is a want as, at, at this point because it's luxury, right? It's called luxury for that reason because you want them, you know, you don't really need luxury in your life. So anyway, you know, I just wanted to kind of like share my struggle with you guys about being a minimalist and at the same time, going through the Hermes journey because it's almost very impossible to put these two things together. And um, I don't know, I mean, have are any of my viewers, if you guys are one of my viewers, are you one of those minimalist people like I do? And um, do you struggle buying things because, you know, uh, you're in this cycle, this endless cycle of like, Needing, needing to shop around, needing to do all these things and all that stuff, right? So, but then I figured, you know, since I am here now in this journey, I would just, my strategy then would be that, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and control buying non-luxury items and then just concentrate on the luxury pieces and have just very, very small amount. So that way I'm not too overwhelmed with so many things, you know? So anyway, um, it's just been for me, you guys, again, you know, it's just a struggle just because it's very hard to be a minimalist. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you are doing this Hermes journey. And, you know, it all comes with all of these nice and fancy things. And sometimes, you know, you, you, you go there and you go look at it and go like, oh my gosh, you know, I probably don't need this. But then when you start coming home, you start loving the pieces when you start wearing them, you know. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's like a, a two-faced, uh, you know, situation here in the reality, you guys, you know. But eventually, I will come to that point where I will stop because at some point, I'll go look at myself and go like, okay, I think I shopped every single corner of Hermes. I don't have to have Hermes, you know, top down to just all be designer um, or mess designer because right and so at some point there's a stopping point and I hope that stopping point is very soon um, I don't know when soon because I don't even have any of the bags that I really want so this saga is going to continue for quite a bit and um, uh, I just can't wait until you know I have those bags and maybe i'll just take a pause or a break or something like that you know maybe one uh what i w once i have one of the either hermes birkin or the kelly any of those two maybe after that i probably take a little breather break uh before i go through another cycle of it because again you know my struggle is i would always have to come up with things that i want from the brand and that that, you know, uh, that circle right there encourages me to go to their website all the time, browse every single corner of, you know, uh, their website, see what I want, see what I like, see what I want, see what I like. And, you know, hopefully the, hoping that the store do have it. So anyway, you guys, you know, um, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to share you to you guys all of these struggles that I have, uh, you know, doing this Hermes journey at the same time being a minimalist. <laughs> it's very hard for me. Anyway, um, uh, well, good luck to me, and uh, we we shall see how this how this plays out, guys. Right, and hopefully by the time that I get my Hermes Birkin or Kelly, you're still watching my videos and. Uh, you know, um, let me know down in your comments below, you guys. Do you have any suggestions for me? What suggestions do you have for me to be able to, you know, be a minimalist at the same time, stop shopping too much, and but then get the things that I really want? It's it's a very bad combination. Anyway, by the way, I am thinking of doing a series of all my handbags and talking about their positives and negatives. So let me know if that is something that you guys actually wanted me to do because there are so many positives and negatives with all of my, you know, um, in my handbags right now with every single one of them. And so I kind of wanted to discuss that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start a series. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, again, my name is Sigrid. I talk about luxury handbags, real estate, travel, finance, and minimalism in this channel. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye for now.